visiting the unforgotten waters. Here we're situated at a very small river in the Norfolk countryside. Got one? Mate. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Is that a dace? That's a nice dace, Charlie. It is a dace. Look at that. River Tiffy dace. What about that? Oh, yeah. Or is that a little chub? That's a dace. Oh, that's I, dace I don't know. That's how it almost looks like, like a little chub. I don't know. It's got a big mouth like a chub. Ah, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I can't believe it. The Unforgotten Waters. Let's have another day. Tell you the joy you can have from fishing like this. Oh, I've got another dace, but I've got the tree. <laughs> another little dace there. Look at him, perfect. Lovely. Oh, good bit of sport. Oh, That's a that. lovely fish, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Quickly. There you go. Beautiful from this small stream. <laughs> Once you've had a few casts in a place like this, you've sort of got to accept there's nothing there. That's exactly right, man. Somewhere over there is a mill pool, <laughs> and that's where we're now going. Lovely little Jack. Well done. It's not a monster or any personal best, but out of these mill pools, that's just what you want. Lovely conditioned fish. Pull this lovely little pike from a Norfolk mill pool. That just shows you that you can have a bit of fun at these small places, and they are underrated. We'll slip them back.
What a beautiful fish. Honestly, some of these mill pools, you can get some stunning fish. And, um, yeah. I'm as happy as Larry. <laughs> Let's carry on fishing. What a beauty! I got him! <laughs> Another one out of there. Predator in miniature. I actually think that is the same fish. Well, you'll be able to tell it's just got yeah, a mark yeah, under its dorsal. Yeah. I recognise it. Well, it's hungry. Well, we might have just caught the same fish twice. It's the first for me, I think. That well, might not be actually, but it's never happened in the same day, so that is today. Anyway, I'm going to carry on fishing and see what else we can get. It's very productive, this mill pool. Massive perch. That wow. might be bigger than the two pounds seven. I've got my scales. I'll keep that away from the water. Oh, don't worry. Don't <laughs> I'll worry. Keep that away from the water. That's big oh perch. Oh, look at the fat there. Right, scales in my pocket. That's average. Two point three ounces and seven grams. Lovely perch, eh? Two pounder. Two pound three ounce. Beautiful. Two pound three ounce perch. What a cracking fish from such a small mill pool. I tell you, some people wouldn't even believe this sort of thing is in here, but it certainly is. What a beauty. Beautiful fish, Charlie. All right, we'll go ahead and slip him back. All right, let's pop him back. So I've just come away from the water and obviously it's not as loud but I'm so happy with the catches that I just had. A couple of perch and a couple of pike. Really happy with those. Um, I just thought I'd re-say this bit because I didn't know whether you guys could hear me but oh, what a wonderful little middle pool. Every time we visit here I've always had something it's amazing. It's just one of the mill pools what you can kind of go back to and know that you will get something. But yeah, we're going to the next one now I think. Let's do it.
Okay then, well we're now at our third and final venue for the day and yes, it's another Millpool. I think we're addicted. <laughs> Millpools are great. But um, yeah, we're, we're now going to um, set the float rods up, start float fishing it and then if nothing gets, you know, produced with the floats, we'll then go over it with a lure and see what we can uh, produce with that. Let's do it. Well, with no success on this last location, we thought we'd call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to go ahead and click on one of the videos which are on the screen right now.